Rudy Giuliani went from America's mayor to Donald Trump's cartoon henchman selling sandals. And in a new video, Rudy talks pardons while Marjorie Taylor Greene drops her most absurd takes to date and gets an endorsement for president from her bunker buddy. Embarrassed by her previous workout clip, Margarine Taco Gristle wanted to demonstrate her strength, so she shared another embarrassing workout clip where she demonstrates she's the person at the gym you stay away from because everything she's doing is wrong and dangerous. I have not sped this up. They are doing all these movements at this speed. And Marjorie's just dropping the weights over and over, hoping to hit her feet because the impact would probably make them look better. Thanks for tuning in to this short, it is pouring MAGA tears. P.F. Chang's dumpster head Rudy Giuliani suggests people are trying to frame him. Marjorie Taylor Greene blames a liberal plot and side effects for the recent events. And Andrew Giuliani lost his bid for governor. The runt spawn of Diaper Dawn tweeted, uh, guys, ha happy birthday, America. A uh, US flag emoji, US flag emoji, US flag emoji. <laughs> Naturally, I replied, did your hot crowd catch that you first posted this on Canada Day? The same genius who wants us to believe he's a responsible gun owner couldn't even stop himself from hitting send on a tweet. So just imagine being in the proximity of Dim Jr.'s tiny brain and jittery Coke fingers. I know I don't act like they do. I don't lie like Raskin and, and Schiff. I don't take money like Pelosi and Biden. Rudy spent two years pretending Donald Trump won. He's been making the rounds trying to turn a heavy pat on the back by a ShopRite employee into an assault, doubling down on the allegation when there's actual video evidence showing it's nothing. And Uncle Fester's now making money promoting the big lie by pushing sandals for Tom Selleck's slow cousin. Look at these things. It's like Mike Pillow was trying to beat Crocs by making an even uglier flip-flop. The men's slide sandal are made for patriots in Cambodia. Get them now. Use Rudy's promo code. Uh, everybody in Washington, the Washington, wants to make me a liar and a crook, and I'm not. But I know I have to protect myself. Now, I, I could have asked for a pardon for a very good reason. I don't want to get framed. I know I didn't do anything wrong. According to Cassidy Hutchinson's testimony under oath, Rudy did ask for a pardon. Did Rudy Giuliani ever suggest that he was interested in receiving a presidential pardon related to January 6th? He did. And Rudy went as far to fire off this tweet after, when I asked for a pardon. So yeah, Rudy admitted to asking for a pardon, but argued she wasn't there, and then he deleted the tweet. But I know they frame people. I know people they framed. So it would have been perfectly legitimate to ask for a pardon, not because I'm guilty of anything, but because they're going to try real hard to make me guilty of something I didn't do, like they tried to do with President Trump. Not because I'm guilty of anything. <laughs> Imagine playing poker with Rudy. He has so many tells. It's incredible. And Giuliani will be releasing his list of people he knows were framed when Mike Lindell releases his election fraud evidence. Never going to happen. I spent most of my time putting crooks like them in jail. And I've acted honorably all my life. <laughs> Trying to get a kid fired from a supermarket, giving press conferences in parking lots, sweating hair dye, and trying to upend democracy. Not honorable at all. I think I try to charge him with that. Which is why he probably should have pardoned himself. Not because he committed a crime, don't you understand me? Because these people are criminals. They frame people. Gotta love Rudy rocking crooked eyeglasses to match the crooked ways of a cartoon villain pretending he's being set up who married on the next branch of his family tree. Rudy wed his second cousin, Regina Perugi, who was the daughter of his father's first cousin, and they were together for 14 years. I know some people get confused by second cousin stuff, so that's your kid marrying your cousin's kid. Yeah, they had a son, and he was in the Goonies.
Okay, no kids in this marriage. Sorry, Goonies fans. But Rudy really tried to make the relationship a non-story and said they were third cousins at one point and then second cousins once removed, as if that were much better. But it was corrected and admitted second cousins. I think this is why Trump and Giuliani have been so tight. Trump always dreamed about humping the family tree and he envies Rudy for pulling it off. And Rudy, you know, what a guy, terrific. He did it. It's possible, you know, the family thing. I have great respect for the man. Huge respect. Took the family tree to pound down. Very, very admirable. Rudy's non-goonies but proudly anti-vax Chucky doll mated with Alfred E. Newman looking son failed in his first bid for election. Andrew had joined the debates on Skype because he's an unvaccinated moron and he also campaigned on the back of his dad and his four years working for Trump and no shocker, didn't work out for him. Bye, Felicia. Alex here, still broadcasting from my Patriot bunker with Marjorie again, good dude. Usually after I finish demolishing the blonde meat swamp, we sit in bed with 7-Eleven burritos and watch like two videos on a loop. Yeah, it gets like a rainforest in here. And I'm fine with cuddling up to MTG after we do it, as long as what? The socks stay on. The socks stay on. Okay, so right now we're looking at a Trump or DeSantis run, and we've been thinking about MTG's future. Again, good dude, I'm serious. She is just as smart or smarter than both of them combined. We need to think about an MTG president here. Donald Trump, she's way smarter than that guy, and he had his own university. He is a scholar, and she would wipe the table with him. Ron DeSantis. Now, sometimes the lines get blurred with these two. They're both super good at standing up against immigrants, healthcare, LGBTQ, and actually, I, I think they kind of look the same. If you squint real good and imagine some dyed blonde hair on DeSantis and like some big shoulders, they are, they are very similar. But I think MTG could take him big time. Like when she's on top, all bets are off. But what stays on MTG? The socks stay on. The socks stay on. I can take getting manhandled by MTG. I'll even let her call me AOC. But I cannot take seeing those misshaped bacon hooves. I need a lot of pleasure in my life. And she provides that, but a glimpse of those mashed road squirrel, Freddy Cougar face, ketchup burger, running down a wall, hammered spam can, sarlacc pit looking mortadella stumps is not one of them. You can run for president MTG and I will back you big time. But there's one rule, the socks stay on. I wanna talk about with psychiatric medications like SSRIs, they have side effects. They do. They have side effects like thoughts. They cause thoughts, homicidal thoughts, suicidal thoughts. That is a common known side effects of SSRIs. You want to know what? Anyone can look that up. It's on the label. It's on the warnings. It's all over the internet. This is easy knowledge. This is something so simple. You cannot ignore it. Just, just, we just had a- SSRIs, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors are the most commonly prescribed antidepressants. SSRIs may also be used to treat conditions other than depression, such as anxiety disorders. Here's a list of countries by antidepressant consumption. It is noted that the USA is not on the list, but if it were, it would have the highest or second highest. Meaning, if it were the actual problem, then all these others close by would also be plagued by such tragedies. And they're not. It's ridiculous that this dog the bounty hunter headed moron will go as far as blaming antidepressants taken by millions of people around the world when the actual common denominator in every shooting in America are guns. Here's what I have to say. I mean, two shootings on July 4th, one in a rich white neighborhood and the other at a fireworks display. It almost sounds like it's designed to persuade Republicans to go along with more gun control. I mean, after all, remember, we didn't see that happen at all the pride parades in the month of June, but as soon as we hit MAGA month, as soon as we hit the month that we're all celebrating, loving our country, we have shootings on July 4th. I mean, that's, oh, you know, that would sound like a conspiracy theory, right? Of course. But what's the definition of a right-wing conspiracy theory? Well, by the way, it's the news that's just six months early.
Yes, you heard that right. Just like her lover, Alex Jones, she was suggesting that a horrific incident was a false flag. We were driving to a parade on the 4th, and my kid was so excited. He's four, and the news broke on Sirius XM in the car, and we had to shield him from the events. You shouldn't have to convince a four-year-old that a parade is going to be safe. People need to stop valuing the freedom to own a weapon of war and start valuing human life. The good guy with a gun argument is pathetic. Get over that. It's ridiculous. There were a lot of highly trained police at that parade, and they couldn't get a shot in. You never will be able to. You are no match for that firepower, and the element of surprise will always win. The only answer is to get rid of these weapons. That's it. It's that simple. It's over if you want it to be. Subscribe though this demo puss. Yeah, right. MAGA TEARS. What is the purpose of this video? MAGA TEARS. The real president is Donald Trump. Show more respect for the man making good for the United States of America. MAGA TEARS. Yes, don't make fun of Jesus. I love pillows. Jealous people. MAGA TEARS. Thanks so much for watching. Help me out by sharing this video or posting it on your social media. It'll cost you nothing and makes a huge difference for me. If you can afford to, please hit the super thanks button or tip me via PayPal and be sure to check out my mugs and stickers that go great with those MAGA tears. I am a stand-up comedian. I've played in 35 countries. I've supported Jim Jeffries on five of his tours. I have three albums on Spotify and Apple Music. Be sure to check them out. Life short. Be cool. Be kind. Take care.